Have you ever tried to remove a hydrant seat assembly using the hydrant seat removal tool and found that after you spun the stem around to unscrew the hydrant seat that when you finished and tried to remove the hydrant assembly, the assembly would not move? This indicates that the hydrant stem is not unscrewing due to damage to the bottom of the hydrant assembly, which means that the stem is basically just spinning around and it is not unscrewing the seat. Your only recourse is to dig up the entire hydrant and remove it in order to be able to disassemble the hydrant. With a few easy steps and the help of the hydrant helper tool, we can easily unscrew the hydrant seat assembly from the bottom of the hydrant. The seat assembly can then be removed, the required parts can be fitted, and the assembly can be returned and the hydrant put back in service. This can save thousands of dollars in repair and replacement costs. The hydrant helper tool consists of a 10 foot length of 2 inch schedule 40 pipe. On that 10 inch schedule 40 pipe, at the bottom we have two tabs that are used to engage into the hydrant seat. These tabs are made out of one quarter plate steel and they are welded on opposite sides of the two inch pipe. And the pipe also contains holes that are drilled through which are big enough to be able to pass our one inch bar that we use for a handle. This bar is approximately two feet long. The bar would go through the hydrant, wrench like so, and then we can use the bar to provide a twisting action to unscrew the stem. The cost for making the hydrant helper tool includes the purchase of one 10 foot length of schedule 40 pipe, which costs $53. The iron plate, the quarter inch iron plate for the tabs and the steel, round steel bar for the handle were both obtained from scrap and the welding costs were $50 for a total cost overall of $103. I would like to explain how the hydrant helper tool works. The two inch pipe is large enough that it will easily slide down over the stem of the hydrant assembly and it is small enough that once it reaches the seat in the bottom it will slip inside the hydrant seat and it will engage with the tabs on the hydrant seat. To use the hydrant helper tool we do have to do some field preparation first. If our hydrant does not have an extension then we need to remove the hydrant barrel at the safety flange. Once the hydrant barrel is re removed, we will see the safety coupling on the stem. We need to remove the safety coupling in order for our hydrant wrench to be able to be slid, slid down over the stem and engaged in the hydrant seat. So once we have removed the safety flange, as you can see with a full length hydrant stem, we can then engage our hydrant helper tool and slide the tool all the way down the stem to the bottom of the seat. If the hydrant has an extension, then the hydrant barrel must be removed from the lower flange of the hydrant extension. Once you have unbolted the barrel at the bottom of the extension, we can remove the barrel this will expose, expose the coupling on the hydrant stem and we can then remove the coupling which will allow our hydrant helper tool access to the stem and once again we can push it all the way to the bottom to unscrew the hydrant seat. The hydrant helper tool in use in the field.